hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video we will see record trigger flow in salesforce before moving ahead here we would like to inform you that we have recently launched a salesforce course specially for salesforce administrator and even if you are beginner then you will easily understand the topic and content of the course here you can see course curriculum we have created different different module for a better understanding you can subscribe the course through the link in description box let's jump to the whole topic so we need to understand what is record trigger flow in salesforce the record trigger flow is an automated process that execute automatically on record creation update or deletion usually we use apex trigger to achieve this task but now we can also use the flow to achieve this requirement to create the record trigger flow let's take an scenario while working as a salesforce administrator i was assigned a task to automate a process where the sales team wanted to automate the opportunity stage pipeline with the criteria that if the amount is greater than 100k then the opportunity stage will be closed on let's quickly jump to the our org we are on the home page before creating the flow let's quickly understand this scenario for that go to the sales app where opportunity object is present click on the opportunity object let's open the any opportunity record here i am opening the opportunity record go to the details here you can see as per our scenario if the amount is greater than 100k this account stage should be converted into the closed one let's create a flow for this scenario for that go to the setup in the quick find box search for the flows here you can see under the process automation we have a flow click on it we are going to create a new flow to achieve this scenario here you can see new flow button click on it now we want to update the opportunity stage when the amount is greater than 100k that means when we create or update the opportunity amount that time the opportunity stage will be automatically updated that's why we will create a record trigger flow click on it and here you can see create button click the create button now the very first we need to select the triggering object that means on which object we are going to perform this operation here we need to search opportunity here you can see opportunity click on it and when should this flow will trigger that condition here we need to select as per our scenario when we create a new opportunity record that time this flow should trigger that's why here we will select a record is created then in the set entry conditions we need to select initial condition so the condition will matches to our flow criteria here i am going to select all condition are met for example i am giving the condition the amount is greater than 0 that means the flow will only trigger when the amount is greater than 0 this is the initial condition this is not final condition then we are going to update the field within the same record because you can see here when we update the amount the opportunity stage should be updated that's why here we have two options the fast field updates and the action and related record first we will see fast field update after setting up all values just simply click on this close button because as you fill these values this automatically saved now we need to add condition when the amount is greater than 100k then the record should update otherwise the flow should be end to add the condition here you need to click on a add element button here you can see click on it and select the decision element because the decision elements is work like a if and else condition as you select the decision element here you need to enter the label here we are entering check for the amount here you can see the label is displayed on the flow now here are the outcome order here is new outcome to change the new outcome label here you can simply click and enter greater than 100k as per our scenario we are checking which amount is greater than 100k the outcome api name will automatically populate then in the resource we need to select the amount field of opportunity object that's why click on it for that here you can see under the dollar record option we have a opportunity record click on it and here you will see the all the opportunity fields here we need to select the amount field for that search for amount here you can see the amount and in the operator we need to select greater than operator and here simply enter the amount the 100k nothing but 1 lakh now 
we have set the conditions and what if the amount is not greater than 100k that's why here you can see default outcome click on it you can change the label or uh, leave as it is here I am changing the label after changing this simply click on close button here you can see we have applied two conditions one is greater than 100k and second one is not greater than 100k now we need to update those records which amount is greater than 100k that's why we need to here add the element to update the records click on it and here we have update record data element click on it now enter the label now enter the label the API name will automatically populate after entering the label leave the other things as it is and in the set the fields value for the opportunity record here what we need to do we need to select the stage name which field is going to change and here select the value that we want to update the field we are updating the record which are greater than 100k then the stage name field should be closed on here you can see closed on click on it and then simply click on a close button now let's quickly review the flow in the start element we have entered the condition when the opportunity record is created then in the decision element we have applied two conditions when the amount is greater than 100k and if amount is not greater than 100k if the amount is greater than 100k then update the opportunity stage name and close the flow this is our flow save the flow the flow api name automatically populate enter the description is the uh, is the good practice then simply click on the save remember before the activate the flow always debug the flow because it's a good practice click on debug the flow because if you activate before debugging and if there are any problem in the flow then first you need to deactivate it save the changes and you need to save the flow in the other version here we need to select opportunity let's test on this opportunity click on the run the flow is completed why because here you can see the burlington test tiles has a amount greater than 1 lakh or 100k now we can activate this flow for activation simply click on activate button our flow is activated create a new record go to the opportunity click on the new button enter the necessary details enter the amount greater than 100k here i am entering 500k now select the any stage name let's say qualification then simply click on save button now here you can see the amount is greater than 100k let's click on the details to see the stage name and here you can see the stage name has automatically convert from qualification to the closed one in this video we have seen the record trigger flow for a fast field updates that means when you update the field for a same record that time we select the fast field updates to update the fields from one object to another object or related object that time we select the action and related record for that example we will meet again in the next video if you like the video click the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you